Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. And today we have a brand new 2023, it's a 31G Momentum. It is a toy hauler bumper pull. Just got it in. Haven't seen one of these in a long time, so uh, let's go check it out. It's a brand new 2023, just got here. Um, this bumper pole has a closed off garage, something you don't see a lot. So if it's something you're interested in, uh, let me throw my number out there early so you can write it down. Give me a call. Text me if you have any questions. It's 218-740-4964. Uh, shoot me a text, shoot me a call. Let me ha help you out um, any way I can. So we'll get started here right up front. You're going to see this beautiful fiberglass front cap. It's kind of sunny out, but you can see the nice LED Docking lights up front here for you. Beautiful rock guard to keep everything protected. Spot for a battery, you could probably fit two of them right there, which we're gonna throw one in in the deal. We're gonna fill these 20 pound propane tanks. You also got a power tongue jack right up front in, on this unit. Another thing we haven't been seeing a lot of this year because you just can't get them, generator. Generator is on board with this unit here. 4,000 Cummins own generator on board, ready to go. Something you're not seeing a whole lot of. Right next to that is your water station, your battery disconnect. You got cable hookups in here. You got some power, uh, hot and cold shower here. This little spot is where you're gonna run all your hoses through so you can keep that door closed. Back side of the camper, you'll see one slide. That's for the bedroom right there. This is a big pull behind toy hauler, but it is awesome. The Momentum G Class. Fuel station on board, which your generator is going to run off as well. Ladder to the walkable roof. Also, up next to the ladder, you can see this little black strip that is a nice LED light as well for at night if you're fueling up or whatever you need to do. You got a nice convenient light on the back side of the camper. As you can see, it's a little close to these guys, so I don't have the back deck down right now, but this back ramp right here will drop down form into a deck you got an awning out back with a led strip under that as well and it is going to have um some railings that go around it some deck railings um that turn it into the nice back deck which is going to be great this does have crank down stabilizers so um, if you got your toys, you're gonna have a drill with you anyway, so bring a three quarter inch bit, be able to zip those down for you. Separate entry door right into the garage, which is gonna be really nice. Got an awning out front. Again, LED strips under there. I have them lit up. I don't know if you can see them on here, but you got a nice awning out the front. You got outdoor speakers. These are marine grade Rockford Fosgate speakers. So you got Rockford Fosgate all around. So. For you music folk, Rockford is kind of one of my speaker, one of my go-to speakers. I really like them, give you a great sound. Um, those are on the outside. On the inside, you even got a little subwoofer. I'll show you when we get in there. So up front, you got a little storage area and it is really tall. So fitting some fishing poles or taller gear in here. You know, it's not the deepest, but you do have your garage to kind of fit most of your toys and gear. But you do have this section. Um, to kind of store some more stuff as well. It's a little windy out here, you know, a little cloudy, windy day here in Duluth. Wouldn't be the same without it, but you got the big awning that runs across. I don't have it out right now, it's because, like I said, it's a little windy, but um, with these doors, they are on a friction hinge door, so I mean, you give those a good push, they're not going to slam shut on you. Really like that. You got these nice aluminum steps bringing you in. Really nice solid grab handle. So let's head on inside. Check it out. Right as you walk in, you got your bathroom right to the right. I like that. You're not tracking in through the camper. Again, there is no carpet in this camper just because it's a toy hauler. But having the bathroom right there, you're just in out. Less dirt in the unit. Nice little sink. You got power under the sink. Nice thing about these toy haulers is it gives you a ton of room in the shower. And if you're like seven foot eight, you even have like a nice little shower sky dome window, bringing in a lot of natural light into here as well. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but you do have like a curved bar shower curtain, give you a little extra room in there. 
Really nice shower head. Really nice space in here. Medicine cabinet. Gives you a lot of space there. You also got a fan up top with a vent. Ducted for AC in here. And then it also brings you right into the bedroom. So you got a couple entrances. One from the bedroom and one from right from the door. Queen size bed. Windows open up all around, both on the sides. And then your emergency window opens up as well. So you can really get some really good airflow. Couple little cubbies on the side, put your devices or stack whatever you got over there. Nice overhead storage. You got your own AC unit in the bedroom as well. If you wanna put a TV in here, you got a spot for a TV. Appropriate hookups in the ceiling. Really nice mirror. Backlit vanity lights behind that. Nice little nightlight. Um, good cabinets and storage down in here. Also on top, really nice shelf, power outlets, more power and USB on that side. So really nice kind of catch all spot right there. And then a really nice wardrobe section in the bedroom too. It's a little tight in the bedroom, but you know, you just come in here, crash, wake up, head back out and play with the toys in the morning anyway. So you don't need a whole lot of space in your bedroom, just a nice spot to crash and a good spot to store stuff. And this camper provides that. You own thermostat, you got your lights for the bedroom right here as you walk in. So you're also right by the refrigerator here, 12 volt fridge. Really nice big fridge and freezer. Here's that eight inch subwoofer Rockford Fosgate I was telling you about. So be the life of the party with that. Entertainment system right as you walk in, you got your TV, you got your Bluetooth, AM, FM, all that stuff right here. A little bit of storage under on the cabinets. And then above that is where your whole uh, motherboard is gonna live. So you got your generator, you got your fuel tank right here to tell you how much fuel you got in. Generator stops, you know, start, stop. Tell me how many hours you got going on. Your slides, your awnings, ceiling lights, check your tanks. All that stuff is gonna be um, right there in one convenient location. The one slide in the main living area, you got some really nice couches, Thomas Paine theater collection, kick back, relax. All three of these are gonna recline. Um, you got some really nice windows to bring all that natural light to, to keep an eye at the campfire as well. Good kitchen space for inside this toy hauler. Like I said, the living space is a little smaller because a lot of the room that you got is back in the garage. But in the kitchen, um, up under the sink, you got a spot for a garbage can even. I know it's a big deal to some people. Nice drawers. You got all these nice um, lights that kind of light up under the sink, give you some nice night light. And then up under the cabinets as well, you got some really nice lights. Good counter space. Three burner cooktop. You got a nice little oven in here, and then you do have a good little drawer under it as well, as well as under the refrigerator. You got small little drawers. All the heat ducts are up off the floor, so any dirt with any kids or pets with the fur, we won't get those stuck in the in the floor heat grates. Um, also, not going to rip any socks or break any of those, which can be really nice. Another AC unit in the main living space as well. So you got two AC units on this unit. Really nice cabinets. I really like the glass. Makes it look really nice. This one is deep. You can kind of hide some stuff up there. And then more cabinets. Really nice window in the kitchen as well. So little smaller kitchen but it kind of gives you everything when you tuck around the side you got a huge pantry in here as well that's lit up a lot of space in there and then you do have the overhead storage you can tuck whatever you want in up there move you back into the garage really nice size garage like I said, this is going to be your decking system that goes around. 
that will kind of wrap around the deck. You do have these couches back here, and you can see the little black spots on the floor. That's where a table would live, so you can set up another table back here. You know, so if you want to play some games, you can really sit back here, cup holders on each side. What's really nice about these as well is we'll kind of we'll roll one over and show you. Just kind of rolls over. Really simple. There will be a support on the bottom so you can turn these into beds. You roll that one over, it turns that into a nice bed. This bed will drop down so you can sleep four, I'd say four adults back here comfortably. A lot of people are also turning these into bunkhouse, like a nice bunkhouse option. So um, what I like about that, you know, about that option is you can fit the four kids back here. They got their own entry door. Again, no carpet to make a mess. Also gives you another half bath back here as well. So guests or kids, you got a nice half bath back here with a lot of stuff going on. Nice medicine cabinet, sink. You got a little fan up there as well. If you wanted to, you could put a nice little TV back here. And then you got some good overhead storage. It is ducted for AC, so you do get some of that AC back here. Otherwise, you do have a little roof vent. You can leave the door open. All these windows can open, get some really good cross ventilation um, and get some nice airflow back here so it doesn't get super stuffy. Tie downs throughout the whole kind of throughout the whole floor here. Um, so whatever kind of rig you have, whether it's a couple four wheelers, a side by side, a couple motorcycles, whatever you have, you'll be able to tie them all down in here. So I'm gonna give you a quick one more walk through into the living space. Again, my name is Kyle Dittman. I'm here at Boyan RV. Uh, best way to reach me, shoot me a text, shoot me a call. I'd love to help you out any way I can. There's a lot of camping left here. Like I said, this one just came in. Be one of the first people to get a brand new 2023 uh, Momentum G-Class. It is not gonna last long. Um, this is a great unit, offers a lot of stuff. Uh, shoot me a call, let me know I can help you. 218-740-4964. Uh, I really look forward to working with you guys, help you out any way I can. Um, let's get you out camping. Hope to talk soon.